Nightline continues from New York City with Cynthia McFadden. And now to the law. Well, she's been around since 1959, so she's officially middle-aged, but there's no sign that her popularity is waning. In fact, sales of Barbie dolls and her accessories are up 14% this year. That despite the fact that Barbie has stiff competition for the hearts of little girls the world over, including from a plucky young lass called Bratz, who scored a big win in court today. Here's David Wright in Los Angeles. She's the sassy new kid who took on the popular girl in a Toy Story courtroom saga that's dragged on seven years. Barbie and her paymaster Mattel, between the two of them, are very litigious. Bratz was the defendant here. I think Bratz would have been happy just to go about its business, uh, but uh, Mattel, the toy giant, you know, came along and uh, you know, had other ideas. But today, Bratz got her payday at Barbie's expense. I think it's a huge deal. When the case started out, it looked like an easy victory for Mattel, but the case has taken a bunch of twists and turns since then. Barbie's paymaster, Mattel, has long maintained that the creator of Bratz stole the idea from them. The doll's designer used to work for them. I think any, any uh, industry that has um, invention and innovation at its core um, is going to be incredibly protective and secretive. In 2008, a California jury ruled in Mattel's favor, awarding Barbie $100 million. It was a giant court battle over a little girl's doll, but it was also about a big business. Then last summer, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals stood up for the girls with a passion for fashion, ruling that the unrivaled queen of the fashion doll market could not just chop off the heads of any pretenders to the throne. Judge Alex Kaczynski noted that Barbie is relatively demure, whereas brats are urban, multi-ethnic, and trendy. Dolls with attitude. In other words, the two products are plenty different. Kaczynski ruled, quote, America thrives on competition. Barbie, the all-American girl, will too. So Bratz got a retrial. This time, a jury of her peers sided with her. Now Barbie has to pay Bratz nearly $89 million in damages. And there could be punitive damages, too. I didn't really fight uh, all the way for, for the money. I think it was the principle of it. And what is the principle? The principle is that big multi, uh, multinational companies in these countries cannot come and basically bully and uh, steamroll small entrepreneurs and get away with it. If we had lost this, I think our whole company would have been wiped out. Barbie must be crestfallen, but she's a classy girl, and Mattel was gracious in defeat. We are disappointed by the verdict, the company said in a statement, adding, Mattel's first priority is, and always has been, to make and sell the best toys in the world. Part of what was at stake in this, in this case and through its long history was, you know, what do you make of a situation in which uh, an employee might have gotten an idea, an initial inspiration, from working with Barbie, and then strikes out on his own and does all of the work, or nearly all of the work, on his own. Do you know who these are? That's who? a Barbie. That's of course, the verdict that matters most comes from a population not yet old enough for jury duty. Did you know that these dolls have been fighting? No. That the people that own these dolls have been having a big fight in court. And now, Barbie has to pay brats a lot of money. Do you know how much? Guess. Um, $25,000. More. Really? The Van de Vera sisters were sympathetic to Barbie's plight. I feel bad for Barbie. I guess I'd feel bad for her. And what about you? Do you feel bad for Barbie? Um, well, sort of, because she has, like, 8,000 million gazillion dollars, and she only has to pay, like, like, to her, that's just $5. Right. $84 million's a drop in the bucket for Barbie. Yeah. But they're also well aware Barbie can afford it. Now, crucial question, which one do you like best? Barbie. And you? Barbie. Unanimous. Barbie doesn't just have all those careers to fall back on. Teacher Barbie says, try it again. She has all those That's girls. Big, Win or lose in the rough and tumble valley of the dolls, Barbie will be just fine. I'm David Wright for Nightline in Los Angeles. I had that Barbie doll, and you thought dolls were just toys.